Those were the chants of the PSU and the BNTU as they stood a wall of green and yellow on the National Assembly stairs. Just inside, the House of Representatives met for the budget debate. The Unionists chose this day to come out so that the government could hear their message loud and clear. Corruption within the government needs to end. And President of the BNTU, Elena Smith, said that good governance was always their goal. From the beginning, from the very beginning, when we responded to the government side, we made it very clear that we were not um, letting go of these good governance issues because we felt that those issues were really and truly what have us where we are today. So our teachers were out there, you know, to send that message that we are saying to those in authority, our leaders, that you must deal with these good governance issues so that things can be better in this country for all of us, not just us as teachers, but, but all of us as a country, as a people. And according to the Belmopan branch president, that's exactly why they decided to support their brothers and sisters in yellow. Today we just came out here to um, support the PSU. Um, they, are our, they are our sister union, so we came out to support them. This morning earlier, we had our activity whereby we were on the highway um, picketing and going against corruption. No? And so that is what we were doing this morning. And after we finished, then we came out here to support um, PSU and also for us, to, for our voices to be heard also. As usual, when we are among each other, you know, we are all hype, we are all excited. Um, but it doesn't make sense if you are all hype and excited and you know, the government is not listening. So we came out here to make sure that they hear our voices so that they can hear, you know, what we want, what we are talking about. You know, it's not just about teachers, it's also about country. And that is what, as teachers, we are standing up for. And on the topic of ongoing corruption, the first vice president of the PSU also had some words of advice for the parliamentarians meeting right inside. I am calling on the government to stop, stop the lies and stop attacking the union as if we're the opposition. And I, we are, I also want to call on the opposition that you are the, Her Majesty's paid, oppo paid opposition. Do not be another lame duck opposition that we're paying to be the watchdog against the government and simply wait until it's your turn to come and fleece. Well, I can say to the no opposition, that ain't gonna happen. Because if and when you guys come back to office, we will have good governance, we will have stronger institutions, and we will have laws to hold you accountable. This has to stop. This is not about me. This is about Belize. And though their numbers were low, PSU President Gerald Henry said that they held back their forces for the safety of their members. We could have brought out more persons, but um, we understood the COVID-19 uh, regulations and restrictions. And so um, in, we, we decided not to bring out everyone and to limit the amount of persons who would be coming from the districts. Um, in addition to that, we decided to only bring certain branches out. It, it, it wasn't all the branches from across the country. So today we have with us Corozal, Orange Walk, and Belize City, and, San, and Cayo. And then tomorrow we'll be having the southern districts coming in, uh, which would be uh, Toledo, Stan Creek, um, Belmapan will also come here and I think Kayo will come again. This thing is a, is a repeat of administrations and we are the ones who always get impacted. Um, each time that the government finds itself or puts itself into financial difficulty, they run to us. Um, so, um, so I think that public officers are very much aware of that and um, it's time for us to say um, enough is enough. But the unions were not alone since the Nurses Association also joined the fight. According to President Darrell Spencer, they are tired of the red and blue bukut. All are we the out here, we are out here because Belizeans are the people, we the people need to demand a change in our government. Not if we change the government, we tired of change government. You change monkey, you get black dog. We want the government to change. We don't want to change the government. The bukut here represent what Belizean taken for the past 40 years. Two decades nearly a UDP, two decades nearly a PUP, and all we get the Bukut. We need to stop tech Bukut. Sign the laws, get the laws in place, get the Whistleblower Act in place. Come on, no salary cut, no amount of salary cut will help this country with a wasteful government. And they have the support of the NTUCP, as President Luke Martinez said that the unions are simply defending what's theirs. We are not here to, 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 to destroy anything. We are nationals 
uh, we are humanitarians and this is a nationalistic movement right and so in um, nation building this is this this is what nation building is about we must fight corruption uh, we are here to defend our property uh, we are defending our territory that's the our 10 percent we are defending our wages and we will defend it um, to the end the unions will be back they say in full force tomorrow as the budget debate continues courtney menzies seven news